Uh, radioactive decay is another thing that we can use uh, uh, exponentials to, to model. Um, so this is a lot like the continuously compounded interest problems we do, and it's also like the exponential uh, growth problems we do. So it's very, very similar. The process we do in this is very similar also. Um, so we're going to use the same formula. A of t is equal to a naught e to the kt. Uh, a, a of t is going to stand for how much we have left after a certain amount of time. And a lot of times the radioactive decay is going to be in years. Sometimes it might be in days or even hours. It just depends on the scenario. So there are some flexibility. But a lot of times it's in years. Um, a of a naught is the starting amount we have. K is going to be the decay constant. So it's kind of like your interest rate. And then your time again is, is usually in years, but it can be um, in hours or, or days. Uh, it just depends on, on the substance. All right, so let's do an example here, and we'll talk about a couple of things here. And let's suppose we have uh, 30 grams of some mildly radioactive substance, and then we're going to say that the half-life of this substance is 10 years. So what the half-life means is it, it means that the half, it takes 10 years for half of that substance to go away. Um, so if we start out with 30 in 10 years, we'll have half of that, which is 15. And then another 10 years, we'll be at 20 years. We'll have 7.5 grams left, and etc. So, yeah, you just keep dividing it by 2. Sometimes you might have to solve for the half-life. Um, and that's very similar to solving, like, how long does it take for something to double. Um, it's very similar. Okay. All right, so let's uh, kind of write down some things we know. Um, we'll write down our, our uh, exponential um, formula. A of t equals a naught e to the kt. Um, I know that my initial amount is 30 grams. I know that in 10 years I will have half of that. It'll be 15. And I don't know what the k is. So we want to know how much is left in 27, in 27 years. So I'll know what the time is. It'll be 27. However, I don't know what the, I don't know what the k is. So this is going to be just like the bunny and rabbits uh, problem in the, in, the, in the previous video. We're going to have to go find the K. And we have enough information to do that. So we're going to plug in what we know. And that is 15 is equal to 30 E to the K times 10 because that's, that's our half-life. In 10 years, we'll have half of it left. Okay? Works like all the other ones we've been doing. We're going to isolate that exponential and then take the log. So we're going to divide by 30. So we're going to get half equals E to the K times 10 or 10k, take the natural log of both sides, okay, and I'm lazy so I'm going to write it as 0.5, which is fine, um, as long as you don't have a repeating decimal, you can write it in decimal form, um, don't write 0 0.3333333, just write one third when you're doing this, you want to be accurate, okay, um, now we're going to divide both sides by uh, 10, and we're going to have k is equal to ln of, of 0.5 over 10, and that is uh, my decay constant. All right. So I'm going to find what it is in 27 years. So I'm, I'll know everything now. I have all the variables. And just plug it in. We'll write down how it looks like in the calculator. Again, you need to be careful about uh, putting parentheses in for that exponent. Uh, make sure it all gets in there. Okay, and it's about 4.6 grams. Now, if we remember, we started out with uh, 30, and then in 10 years it was 15, and then uh, in 20 years we had 7.5, and then uh, 27 is is uh, you know right between you know 20, 20 and 30 years closer to that. So if we take half of of uh, 7.5, it's going to be 3 something, and the 4.6 seems pretty reasonable to me. Okay, and uh, so very, very similar to all the other stuff we've been doing with 
uh, exponential uh, growth and decay and compound, continuously compounded interest problems.